oftentimes in the mount. Your options are limited to, you know, shoulders and head. So this guy has a decent idea of what you're going for, and because of that, he's going to hide his elbows and hide his neck. Okay, he's going to stay tight. When he's turtled up, when he's squeezed in, his muscles are pretty strong. So if I'm very strong, I can pry this thing off and get it to the floor. But why waste all that energy? When attacking Americanas from mount, I want to use a circular motion, right? Because then I start activating that shoulder, and this as a whole is weaker than that whole portion of his torso, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna attack what's weakest. So I'm on my wrist like normal, and I'm gonna, instead of pushing out on that elbow, I'm gonna cup it, right? And I'm actually gonna draw a circle inside and then drive it down at the top, right? Once here, my weight is in. All right, if we're doing Americana, I'm just gonna set my elbow into his neck, thread my hand underneath, make sure that his arm is 90 degrees and my arm's 90 degrees. And I'm gonna start drawing that hand down to his hip, and once I hit the peak, I lift up. It's not about force, it's about travel, right? I can sit here and turn this, it moves a lot. However, if I get this low and then lift, it doesn't go nearly as far. Right? It's a ball and socket joint. And as we're pulling it down, you're putting pressure on that joint. Once you hit the bottom and you start to rotate, it's already halfway out. Right? We peak it out and then we start our attack. Whereas up here, you have a lot more mobility. Okay? This is where the circle comes into play. Okay? So hold this tight. Give me 100% resistance. Right? So if I'm pushing, I'm not making any space, which is why I start rotating. Keep it tight. Right? Up, around, and down. Elbow in, slide under, Kimura grip, bring that thing down, and lift it up at the base. You might find a lower mount gives you more room to work. All right? Questions? Let's go.